And as I had mentioned in the very beginning of the show, as we get to commemorate International Women's Day tomorrow on the 8th, right here on Entertainment Thursday, Good Morning Kenya, we are starting it early. We are commemorating that day today. And joining me in studio just to talk about Marta's women, and she is looking absolutely stunning. I love that she is in theme of the International Women's Day. The theme color is purple and pink, and she is a adorned in a very, very beautiful outfit. Her name is Dr. Jennifer Riria. She is the president and CEO Eco Network Africa. Thank you. Good morning. Thank you. Welcome to the show. We are pleased to have you here. Thank you. I'm pleased to I be want here. us to begin by you telling me what you love most about being a woman. What I love most about being a woman is because I'm a woman. Women are blessed. Women give birth to even Jesus Christ, mm -hmm. our Lord. Mm -hmm. Being a woman is a privilege. You get to nurture. You get to educate. You get to love. Yeah. It's a special thing to be a woman. It is a special thing to be a woman, yep. for sure. If you could just tell me a bit about Equa Network Africa. What is it all about? Mm -hmm. Echo Network Africa is a development institution um, focusing on empowering women, girls, girls with disabilities, mm -hmm. girls in, in, and women in the marginalized areas, you know, mm -hmm. the other areas. It is also a catalyst for development, catalyst in the sense that Echo Network Africa works with other community-based organizations. Um, on the basis and on the knowledge that people transform their own lives. Mm -hmm. All you need to do is trigger them, is help them to innovate themselves, and they change the way the world works for themselves. Mm -hmm. So it's, it, Echo Network Africa is a catalyst uh, for development. Mm -hmm. It is also a nationwide institution uh, working all over Kenya, and very soon, Echo Network Africa Foundation is getting trying to reach out to get out to meet other women in the region. Mm -hmm. Just how has it been for you working with women? I've worked with the women all my life. This is my 47th year working with women. Wow. Uh, and for me, each morning you wake up and you have proved that you have touched a life mm -hmm. of a woman with whatever initiative you have. You know it is not a woman you have touched. You have touched a family. Mm -hmm. You have touched a society. Mm -hmm. So it's really, um, you, you, you sit back and feel, how do I move on tomorrow to be able to touch more? This, is, this has been my quest all these years. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Maybe as we get to celebrate International Women's Day, which is coming up tomorrow, why is there a need to have such a day set aside? Why mm. is it important for us to mm. celebrate International Women's Day? It's a day that is celebrated globally, not just here. Yes. So why is it important? I think it is very important to realize that addressing issues that affect the livelihoods of women mm -hmm. It is not about women, and that's why it is called gender. Mm. It is not about women. It's about a society, an unequal society that must strive on a daily basis to make sure that we are achieving, we are coming, we are bringing everyone along for the purpose of development. Mm -hmm. This day is very, very, very important because it gets together the world, accelerating mm -hmm. um, the achievement of, of, of women empowerment, uh, equality, by addressing those issues that exclude women from all the processes. Mm -hmm. it, is, it is a very important today because people step back and ask themselves, where are we? What have we achieved mm -hmm. in, this, in, this, in this war? Mm -hmm. You know, I'm calling it a war because it's a war. We have walked this route for many years, mm -hmm. asking why are women not on the table, discussing issues that affect them, affect their families, affect their societies. It is imperative 
that if in your, on your hand you have five fingers, mm -hmm. you cut two of them, you have three. You can't do what you'd have done the grip if you had the five. five. Yeah. That's very simplistic analysis. Mm -hmm. That it, this day is very important to be able to ask, how do we accelerate bringing them on? on this table. And there are very many ways of, of doing that. We need to address institutions. We need to address uh, um, systems. We need to address um, financial issues that mm -hmm. exclude women. Mm -hmm. You cannot afford to exclude women. Yeah. This is what, is the, what this day is all about. Mm -hmm. Yes. What progress has been there so far that we can highlight? The fact that I'm sitting here on a national TV, simply, we have made, many years ago, you wouldn't find a, a woman on, on, on national TV. Mm -hmm. it, it was a male game, you know. Mm -hmm. And if you cut the political landscape, for mm -hmm. example, mm -hmm. we have made a lot of, uh, we have, well, not a lot, but we have made progress. We have now seven governors they call them the G7. Mm -hmm. Wonderful. Yeah. The, the G7. We, we, before, there was none. Then we began with three. And I can tell you, Echo Network Africa worked very hard um, with other institutions mm -hmm. to ensure that we have got more governors on, we have got more legislators on, mm -hmm. we have more MCAs on. Mm -hmm. And uh, there is improvement there. Mm -hmm. If you, it's not enough, we haven't achieved the two that gender rule. Not it's something yet. in going to parliament now again yeah. for the fifth, I don't know, fifth or sixth time. Yeah. And I, I don't understand why it's so difficult to accept that women should be on the table. Mm -hmm. They're the producers, they are the nurturers, mm -hmm. they're the caregivers. Why would you want that group? to be where you are making decisions. Mm. So there has been development there. There has, there has been development in education. More girls getting school. Yeah. We have, have a lot of challenges right now. Mm -hmm. Some that Echo Network Africa is addressing with its partners. We have girls dropping out of school. Mm -hmm. We have pandemic teenage pregnancies, mm -hmm, yes. they affect girls because the boy still goes to school. Mm -hmm. The boy still goes to hunt his father's cows, mm -hmm. but the girls drop out of school. Now, once a girl drops out of school at standard seven, that child is excluded completely mm -hmm. because, you know, everything is based on education here. Mm -hmm. So, yes, more in school, mm -hmm. but we need to address issues related to retention, Mm -hmm. and issues related to uh, uh, retention and going back to school for girls. Mm -hmm. I see a lot of controversy. I believe my, where I come from, that girls should go back to school once they have got into this danger of pregnancy, they should be allowed to go back to school. Uh, but that's a discussion we'll have you and me another day. Mm -hmm. But I think that it is very important we address those issues. There has been development there. There has been development in women getting into um, management, management um, positions in the country. Mm -hmm. However, not, not many are on the top, right on top. Yeah. We have seen progress. Yes, there's there's definitely progress yes. in a lot of uh, in a lot of things. Yes. You know, we can't just say we are where we used to be no. five years ago, or not. Yeah, even five years ago, we are not where we used to be thirty years ago. A lot of progress has been made so far in ensuring that the woman is where she is supposed to be. Women empowerment is a thing now, and we love to see it. And we're not just taking it for granted and assuming that you know it's not working the woman has been empowered yes. you know because we even hear right now of some uh, men saying that okay you're forgetting about the boy child because the, you're all about empowering the woman now empowering the woman but despite all this progress there's still gender inequality yes why is that so once again i think we need to address to answer your question mm -hmm. you know, why why we are not we are not there yet mm -hmm. there's a lot of there's exclusion mm -hmm. 
-hmm. let, me, let me just say that. Mm -hmm. There is exclusion of women in many areas, and that's where we are saying we need to accelerate the achievement, meaning we are not there yet. Yeah. And accelerating achievement does not mean leaving the other gender out. It means accelerate achievement so that we are at par. Mm -hmm. Okay? Mm -hmm. Why is that? Why is that? Because means of production, you know, productivity is very important. Mm -hmm. Means of production have been elusive as far as women are concerned. Mm -hmm. Accessing uh, financial support, for example, I, I've been in microfinance world for the last 40 years. And I think that the, even with all that effort, very little is achieve, achieved mm -hmm. because women lack access to, 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 to financial services, affordable financial services. So um, financing and arranging financing with a gender lens mm -hmm. is very, very critical. Mm -hmm. Access to affordable health care mm -hmm. is very, very critical yeah. to bring everybody along. Mm -hmm. Women participating in, an, in, 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 in political, in, in democratic spaces is very important. And that's where women have been excluded from. Mm -hmm. And, you know, this is why Eco Network Africa focuses very seriously on positioning and advocating for women. Because if you don't position women in the mainstream, yeah. then they are left out. Mm -hmm. Then we can't achieve inequality. Mm -hmm. And maybe according to you, from your, your, just your opinion, what role can men play in this fight in advancing gender equality? Yes. You know, and what should we do for it not to look like it's a war Women. of genders? Mm -hmm. You know, it's a war of the ma uh, yeah. male versus female. What role do they have to play? I think that's a very important question. I think we should discuss it because uh, this is not about women. This is about society. Mm -hmm. This is about development. Mm -hmm. And men are part and parcel of development and existence. Mm -hmm. So the two, that is why we are talking about gender equality, meaning men, women, boys and girls, getting together and getting there together. Mm -hmm. You can't exclude men. Men will have to be partners in this war. Yeah. In fact, in some of the initiatives that we have, mm -hmm. um, for example, addressing uh, gender mutilation, mutilation the best approach we are beginning to realize is getting men to speak against it and to seriously converse against it. Mm -hmm. That is when we shall succeed in this war that we have failed to do over the years. Mm -hmm. So you cannot leave men behind because mm -hmm. they are part of it. It is not about women. This is not about women. Yeah. This is about getting the world to be correct and just mm -hmm. and fair. Mm -hmm. And that a responsibility of both men, women, boys and girls. Mm -hmm. There's the issue of femicide yes. that we've, we've gotten to experience in Kenya. We even had women marching on the streets, you know. Um, what's your take on it? Like, what is really causing all these deaths, you know, whereby women are being killed by men? I mean, it's a very, it's a very sad status. Mm -hmm. And it is the young women. Yeah, young women to be specific. Young women whom we are looking up to to take over from where we have reached. We can't be on this platform for a long time more. Mm -hmm. But I think that it is, it is it's very sad, first of all, let me say that. Mm -hmm. Secondly, we need to address the social, our ethics. How are we? What is the value, uh, value level mm -hmm. of uh, young girls? What are they looking for? Somebody need to do real research so that we can talk from an informed uh, plan, you know, uh, standpoint. Mm -hmm. What is driving the girls to pick a stranger and go to a private place with a stranger? Mm -hmm. One of the one of the girls, when I was talking to the girls, because I talked to girls about this, mm -hmm. they tell me, you know, we are now empowered. We don't th there's no way we can't go. Mm -hmm. um, we are brave. 
and we don't there's no way we can't go that's mm -hmm. what that that's the answer I get. Mm -hmm. But I think the, there's need to find out what is driving them. Is it money? Is it, is it uh, emotions? You want to get somebody to love you. Mm -hmm. You are not loved and mm -hmm. somebody is uh, expressing love. Is it, is it what you want to achieve in terms of if you get money, you mm -hmm. know, where you should get if you have money? It is a big question that this nation must address because it is sad to lose a young woman, I can tell you, especially a woman who has walked and is reaching um, university. Mm -hmm. That's total waste for this country, yeah. apart from saying it's devastating for the family. Mm -hmm. I think there is reason to, to think of what are the social morals? What, what, what has happened to when grandmothers sat down with the granddaughters and tell them, this is, you can't walk here, you can't walk there. Mm -hmm. Society has changed. Social media, you know, it, you know, it has completely you know, eroded the ethics that we used to have because we are, we are seeing social media teaching young people what they are not taught in the family, what, what can you do? Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And, you know, um, that issue of femicide, I love that you've looked at it in that perspective. Mm. I'm not saying that we should blame the victims. Of course not. That mm. is not even acceptable. But it's also time for us to let the girls know, maybe just some, some basic things, like when you go meet a person that is a stranger, don't go to a private place. I mean, let someone know where you're going. Bring along, tag along a friend. This is mm. someone you're meeting mm. for the first mm. time. Mm. So it's, it's only right that we let them know some basics. You know? I agree with you. Yeah. When we grew up, what, what our, it's our grandmothers who taught us, mm -hmm. uh, not our mothers. Mm. Our mothers don't do these things. But <laughs> our grandmothers told us, you, one thing you don't do, mm -hmm. if you are going to see a man, Meet him in an open space. Yeah. I think that is not old story. Yeah. I think it's, it's, it's an just open common secret. sense. Yeah. Meet somebody in an open space. Yeah. Cafe, you know, have a coffee in an open place. Take a friend with you mm -hmm. until you get to know who this person is. Mm -hmm. You just go, can't just go. There is something that we need to teach the girls about their own value. Value for their own bodies, value for their own souls. How do you sell your soul to a stranger whom you have just met? Mm -hmm. It doesn't matter what is driving you. Sense, common sense. And this is what we need to teach our girls. They might be empowered, they might be very brave, but they have seen it happen on social media and they do it. Mm -hmm. You know, they have seen people marry on social media. So the, the, you know, the, the boyfriend has dropped them so um, they decide, you know, I'm going to go on social media, look for another one. Mm -hmm. They have got to have a value for themselves. And they need to value themselves and respect their own, their own person. Mm -hmm. Sometimes, you know, this cannot be taught in school. But it can be spoken at home. It can be spoken in clubs. Mm -hmm. It can be spoken in church. The, the community, the, the, the entire community, the entire society needs to take this up and make it a discussion. And then also it is not only the girls you need to address. You need to address the, the men, men as well. As well. Yeah. Because as I said, it's not a, a girl thing. Why as a young man or an even old man, why would you take someone's life? Someone's life. Mm -hmm. I, I don't know, you, you, you go to do witchcraft with them. Somebody told me this is, this is not normal. This is, this is a bad spirit mm -hmm. that, is, that is flowing through this country. Mm -hmm. And then, you know, it's, men need now to begin getting to what we expected men to be. Mm -hmm. Men were supposed to be gentle. Protectors. Lady, they are our protectors, protect actually. Protect them, yeah. love them and you know, uh, cheat them a little bit, 
but not 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 <laughs> really to kill them. Yeah. Can men get hold of themselves now? If if this anger, I'm trying to understand what is this anger in men that mm -hmm. is gripping them so badly that they feel to to be able to address it, they want to get a, a more vulnerable person to harm. Mm -hmm. This is baffling. Yeah. Can also churches take up their own responsibility now mm -hmm. in this? Because all religious institutions, the mosques, the synagogues, the churches, should take this as a very serious indicator of a rotting society yeah. and begin addressing it. I agree and you with know, you, 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 may, you can't legislate behavior. Mm -hmm. Behavioral change must come from within. So let these institutions, all of them together, mm -hmm. do address these issues. I agree with you on that. Now, yeah. away from that, I want us to talk about the intergenerational gap yes. that is there. If you may just delve into that. We are trying very hard to see what we do. Mm -hmm. At Africa Women Leaders Network, Aulin, uh, we, we have the, the, the Young Women Caucus. I chair the, 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 the chapter of Africa Women Leaders Network, mm -hmm. um, Kenya chapter, and the East African chapter. And uh, we have the Young Women Caucus. The idea of having a you, you know, Young Women Caucus of Aulin is because you know the, uh, girls become women, of course, and the leaders of today, who ourselves mm -hmm. at our, my age, are not going to stay there for all the time. We need to bring the young people to begin speaking the correct thing, not meeting people on social media, mm. but how do they handle this economy? How do they? take over and make sure that they are bringing the gender equality gap together. Mm -hmm. Now, the gender, uh, the gender uh, this intergeneration gap is widening. Because the young people feel the older people don't understand them. Mm -hmm. And the older people feel, oh, how do we get these girls to begin listening? So this need to continue dialogue on, the, on intergenerational gap, this intergenerational gap. Yeah. We have um, annual convenings on, 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 on this, specifically on this. And Aulin is very particular about this because uh, Africa Inter Women International Network, Africa Women Leaders Network mm -hmm. is, 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 is Pan-African. Yeah. It's a Pan-African movement, mm -hmm. creating a Pan-African movement that brings women together across the continent, supported by UAU and UN women. Mm -hmm. And I think that this, this, this is so important that the young women see, where, understand where we have come from and where we are going. Yeah. Sometimes it's not so obvious to, for them. They're young and they want to get there. Mm -hmm. Everything must come quickly, and everything doesn't come quickly. And they're impatient. Mm -hmm. I, f I feel them because I was there once upon a time. Mm -hmm. But I think that it is very important to have the conversation for them to be able to understand what is their role. Right now, they should be addressing these issues we have been talking about, the genocide. Mm, because really, that is that's where there is affecting them more. Yeah. Talking about leadership positions. They should get into leadership, yes, but you just can't wake up and get into Senate, mm. for example. Mm -hmm. You can't wake up and just become an MCA. There's a process. Sure. And that's the process that we need to guide them and to help them understand mm -hmm. that it, it takes time. Mm -hmm. But, you know, step by step, small piece by small piece, small step and small step mm -hmm. to get there. Mm -hmm. I want us to talk about the theme. So yes. according to the United Nations, the theme that they are running with um, this year for the International Women's Day is invest in women, accelerate progress. How do we accelerate progress in women? Yes. I've mentioned this a little earlier, but mm -hmm. let me repeat and say, summarize in very simple terms, mm. it is inclusion. We have got to think about the inclusion in all spaces of the economy. Mm -hmm. 
-hmm. And to be included is central to it mm -hmm. is financial inclusion. I'm a financier, so I must talk about finance. Of course. <laughs> financial inclusion is so critical because if you put a dollar in a woman's hand, mm. you have given her a lot of power. So how do you access, and I'm not only talking about women, I'm also talking about marginalized communities and marginalized even men and and, and you know and, and boys but today we are talking about women mm -hmm. accessing financial inclusion enhancing financial inclusion is so critical mm -hmm. because uh, um, you and how do you do that mm -hmm. you need to address issues related to institutions that provide financial uh, services mm -hmm. to women, especially women living in rural areas and women living in marginalized communities. They need access to financial services. And that's why we keep on saying we need to budget. We need to plan mm -hmm. with a gender lens mm -hmm. so that we know exactly what does a woman in Turkana require. Yeah. It's different from what a woman in Nairobi requires. It's different from when a, what a woman in Embu requires mm -hmm. in terms of financial inclusion, in terms of what they want to use money for. So uh, that understanding will help planning, mm -hmm. budgeting, allocations of finances, both at the national level, at the county level, and the sub-county level. This is very critical, that is one. Then we need to ask what kind of institutions. I said uh, Eco Network Africa is a catalyst for development. Mm -hmm. What that means is that working with other institutions in those focus areas, com you know, institutions that are, we call them actually uh, you know, uh, implementing partners. We call them LIPS. Mm -hmm. Working with the LIPS in implementing partners. Mm -hmm. Who are in those communities? who understand what I'm talking about, and working with communities and making communities understand what is being introduced, what initiatives are being introduced, are their initiatives. They are not for somebody coming, you know, uh, coming from out there and it is theirs. And mm -hmm. so that when you are not there, they can continue working to improve their lives. Mm -hmm. So. Those institutions that are working with communities need to be assisted, need to be empowered, need to be enhanced to be able to provide those financial services. So affordable financing institutions that, 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 that understand what the people need and approaches that involve communities mm -hmm. is very important because mm -hmm. communities transform the way their world works. You can't do it for them. Mm -hmm. You know, I can give you money, and you'll sit there and give you money. I come and find you look the same as I left you with that money. Mm -hmm. You see? Mm -hmm. But I need to help you to understand how do I change myself? Yeah. I can't do it from out there. We have to work with those institutions that are embedded in the community so that we can leave the information, we can leave the knowledge there. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. What advice do you have for a young girl who's watching the show right now and aspires to make a difference? Uh, okay, the girl who is watching me now, let her not wear a big hat like mine. <laughs> um, Just look into joke. that camera and speak to the girl back at home. Oh, she's right there. Yeah. Okay, <laughs> I think that. Uh, um, what can I tell that girl? Mm. That she's going to grow? Mm -hmm. That she's going to grow to be, to sit here on this table? Mm -hmm. It will take her quite a few years, mm -hmm. you know, to do that. Mm -hmm. But with, with, with today's... Yeah, this camera. With mm -hmm. today's, with today's uh, social media and, and so forth and so on, uh, it, 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 she'll get there faster. Mm -hmm. But I will tell her to take care of her soul to make sure that she goes to school and you know we wouldn't be here if we didn't go to school and and studied and and, and got beaten and, and 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 got out there mm -hmm. she must make sure that she she is 
she, she does what they're supposed to do. She goes to school. She takes care of herself. She respects herself. Mm -hmm. She respects her parents because that's where blessings come from. Mm -hmm. And she thinks of herself as a leader right from today. Because what she thinks today is what she's going to be. Mm -hmm. That's what I would tell her. I love that. Okay, as we come to uh, a close of this conversation that I've really enjoyed, I, there's something I want to demystify. And I've been doing this with the women that I've been talking to um, on set and offset. That, that term that they keep saying that women are their worst enemies. I want us to demystify that. And I want to hear your take on that as we finish off. No, I, th I think that 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 that's a men cliche. That that is once again, it has nothing to do with the women. Have you had a woman say that? Well, <laughs> yeah, honestly, yes, you have. Yes, I but have. I, th you know, I really think that we need to demystify that because it yeah. is not true. Yeah. If you, it's only that we are not on 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 on, on live show. Mm -hmm. If you ask how many women have helped out there there will be many, many thousands and thousands. If you ask whether there are women who want and get messages every day, please mentor me. Mm -hmm. And I say, I want to mentor you. What you need to do is copy what I do. If you like what I do, you copy it. Many on a daily basis. So it's, mm -hmm. it's when women disagree, it is taken to be that a woman against another woman. It is very important for women to tell another woman, look, I do not like what you do. You are my sister. I love you, but I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. We are not going to go on this route together. Mm -hmm. You will take that, and I will take this route. Mm -hmm. Women should be able to do that. Yeah. Men are doing it all the time. Men are fighting all the time. Yeah. Who talks about it? Mm -hmm. It's not important for them. Mm -hmm. this is, there are so few women in this space that if today I come to you and I disagree with you, it mm -hmm. will be taken that all the women are disagreeing with other women. I agree. That is not true. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much, Dr. Jennifer, for joining us. And thank you for just shedding light, you know, on everything that we have gotten to talk about. And thank you for the work that you're doing um, at ECO uh, Network Africa. You are doing an amazing job with the women. Thank you for uh, gracing our studio today. And that is all we had for you for now. We have a lot in store. And um, just to make it clear, we are live, you know. And we are live. And for the women out there, for the woman who is watching me right now, I want you to go on our social media platforms and give us positive experiences about a woman coming through for another woman. We'll yes. be back in a bit.